This is Days Plus, a version of the original Chinaris for days where zombies are far stronger. They do a lot more damage. Um, so you will need to rely on other players sometimes for blood bags. Uh, there's no AS50s or any high tier weapons like that. The DMR is probably the best ranged rifle you're going to find. But in this part of the video is just to give you an example of how easily you can die to zombies. Okay, here we go. An example of how much damage they can do. You can see just two zombies have killed me in a matter of lesson. There you go. So I spawn in at Cherno and I find an infield. I decide to sit around for a while and then this happens. The guy shoots him down in cold blood. There was no reason for it. Um, he hadn't seen him, he wasn't a threat. So this is the kind of bandits that I kill. A little later on, I hear some broken legs and go to investigate. And this is what happened. When encountering other players that you think need help, you should always try to remain hidden until you get into a position where you have an advantage. And then a good idea if you need to blood bag them is to make them drop their drop weapons. Drop the gun and come up the ladder and I'll give you a transfusion and uh, morphine. Okay dude. There's, uh, there's someone else around. I'm giving you a transfusion now. Thanks, man. Hooray! I'm back in business. Please. Thanks, mate. Sure. I'll, uh, See ya. Yeah, I will uh, leave you to get your gear and I'll be on my way. Okay, thanks, man. Bye. After that I went to investigate a few deer stands and managed to get my hands on an SVD and also a CZ so I had quite a lucky find and I decided to hang around Cherno to hunt any bandits and help anyone that was in trouble. And because this is the days plus mod that I'm playing and not the normal days as you've already seen the zombies are far stronger so there are people out there who need help. Uh, this guy seems to be okay, he doesn't really need any help, he could easily outrun these zombies, so I'm not going to give away my position. But a few minutes later, there's some gunfire and this guy is surrounded, so I decide to take out a few of the zombies, as it sounds like he's only got a handgun. If you do decide to help someone out, uh, try to reassure them that you're not trying to kill them, especially if you're using a sniper rifle, um, and try to stay hidden as much as possible.
Remember this guy's name who just said that the guy on the yellow roof, which is me, is a bandit because his name will become important in a moment. This guy said that he was friendly and wanted to have a look around. He did drop all of his weapons before he came up. So I allowed him to have a look around. I give the guy a fair warning if he decides to do anything stupid, then I will kill him. So we found out now that the guy who I was killing zombies for earlier has been hurt quite badly and um, this guy here wants to go and give him a blood transfusion. Um, I give him my blood bag but he says he's got his own. So. So then a vehicle turns up and there's some gunfire. Uh, the guy that was up here with me, Slip, has gone down now. Um, it turns out later that there was a bandit and he was firing at Slip. Now do you remember this name? This was the guy who said I was the man. He was just waiting for his time to strike and or get my rifle. So I respawn and I start heading back to Cherno and the guys that um, slip and little Lil Ant, the guys that I was trying to help out, they, uh, they say they're going to guard my stuff for me, but I say they can have it. Um, I'm not really bothered. Yeah, they, because I helped them out and I saved that guy earlier. He would have probably died if I hadn't shot some of those zombies for him, because he almost got oh. overwhelmed. Uh, they quite nicely band together and defend my corpse for me until I arrive. Now, we can imagine how this would have turned out if I wasn't a friendly, friendly player. The first guy, Little Ant, would have been overwhelmed by zombies. Uh, I probably would have shot the second guy, and then the bandit would have come up and killed me anyway and somebody else could have found my gear but because I helped them out they decided that they were going to help me out and um, keep my stuff ready for me when I came back I think I just sat pounds Now can you guys hear me? Over. Ah, cool. I don't have that much medical supply at all. All I have is bandages. Where exactly was the bandit? Oh, thanks. Here's the dead guy. Oh shit, sorry. Didn't mean to scare you.
Should I hide the body now or? Alright, yeah, we'll leave it. Damn, man, I wish I, I wish I had a sniper that actually had ammo. Because I mean, you could when be you're uh, doing counter players, just watching this. Seems um, friendly, you haven't killed each other, you're communicating, you're trading items. Always offer them something, even if you feel like it's a disadvantage to you. Because if they take it, then they'll feel better because you they know you're not going to kill them. No, nah, bro, you could have um, it. You're getting if off, keep it. They so don't take it well, at least you've made the offer, they know that you're willing to give them stuff. Um, in this case, I really didn't want to get rid of my sniper rifle, but the guy was talking about sniper rifles, and I felt like if he, if he wanted one, I could give him one, and, but he refused. Being a nice guy, he wasn't looking for trouble, he didn't want to kill me for my gear. I've decided I've already spent too much time in Chernobyl already, so it's a good time to haul ass and get out. I suspect there's someone in the apartments as there's zombies surrounding it so I decide to help out a little but I don't approach just yet because I don't know what the person's intentions are. Continued gunfire tells me that he's still alive, but I don't want to make any contact yet and I want to get a good scope on the area in case he needs any more help, so I decide to head up into the woods. But after calling out on side chat to see if he's still alive, there's no response, so I assume he's either dead, he doesn't speak English, or he's a bandit, in which case I just leave the area. So the lessons we've learned today is that if you're going to be a bandit and kill people that are unarmed, you're going to get killed by myself or other players like me. And if you decide to help some people out, they may not always help you, but there's the off chance that in my situation today, they because I helped them out, they defended my gear for me and we went our own ways, but we didn't kill each other and everyone had a good time.